Betsy is a Grammy, Billboard, and five-time Academy of Country Music Award winner. She's also, and this is very exciting, the cover model for this month's Pickleball magazine. <laughs> this is her album. It's called Humble Quest. Tomorrow, she makes her first-ever appearance at the Hollywood Bowl. Please say hello to Marin Morris. <laughs> to see and I want you to know that everyone here at this show it loves you and uh, the last time you were here because the last time you were here you guest hosted the show for me and thank you for doing that yeah. was that fun for you yeah it I feel like it's not that hard of a job <laughs> It's funny you say that because they were saying, yeah, well, we, we wrote this um, comedy song and she didn't even rehearse it and she did it perfectly. She just went right on and did it perfectly. Thank I you. I was like, oh. <laughs> it was, mm. No, I'm totally kidding. It is, it's crazy how much that you have to do. I mean, you have to ask people questions. You have to appear interested. Um, that's true, that's that is. hard sometimes. Tell me more about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay oh, you. did you have uh, trouble uh, appearing interested? Willie Nelson was your guest. That's easy. Oh, well, yeah. Willie Nelson, yeah. I got to interview. I'm from Texas, so that's, you know, it's legendary anyways. It's as good as it gets, right? It is, yeah. Had you had conversations with Willie, uh, personal conversations before? I have, but it, it, it was nice to, but he was my first interview for that night, so right. it kind of felt nice to break the ice with Willie. Yeah. yeah, and it's different when you're interviewing somebody because you don't typically batter them with questions when you're having a conversation. Yeah, like a job interview. But then um, there's somebody like Willie Nelson, you probably have a million questions for him, you wanna ask those. I know, and it's like you get such finite time, and I don't know how you keep these interviews on the rails most of the time. Um, you know what the hardest part of it is? In right behind you is Guillermo dressed as a cartoon character. <laughs> oh my God! Hi, how and are it's you? distracting. <laughs> Jimmy, she did a great job. Other than oh, that, it's easy. You. Yeah, thank you, girl. You were my co-pilot. I literally <laughs> had no idea you were right there. You look amazing. <laughs> He's easy to miss. He blends right in. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Always. You've been traveling around the country on tour, on yeah. a tour bus. On the bus, yeah. With your husband, Ryan Hurd, mm -hmm. and your, uh, your son is, what, two years old? Yeah, he's two and a half. Does he like the bus? He loves it. Oh, he does. He um, likes a little bustle. too much. Like some weekends, I have to leave him home, and he freaks out. Like he oh. misses the road life. I don't know what I've created. I mean, I think that it's cool that he's so adaptable to it, but I also am like, this can't be right for him to be so comfortable on wheels all the time, like in a new city. But he's he's loving it. My kids are like that too, because I got an RV and I now hate it. And I um, <laughs> said uh, I'm selling the RV, and they just burst out into tears. Yeah, because they love the love being in the bunks, you know. And does he have yeah. that? He sleeps on the RV. Yeah, he has like a little crib, but it looks like a cage. Uh, but it's so he doesn't roll out um, or escape during the night. Uh, yeah. So he, yeah, it's he, he's bolted. Yeah, because if you make a like a hard turn, <laughs> the kids come flying out of the thing. Yeah, you don't want that. Yeah, um, that did happen to us, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah, so he's he's bolted in every night. Um, but no, it's it's fun because I feel like I've missed being on tour. I'd never toured with a baby because, you know, he was born at the very beginning of the pandemic. And so this is my first time being a mom on the road. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's like he's gotten to see every children's museum, every aquarium, every zoo, and every city. So it's like he's two and a half, and really cultured. By the time um, he's 10, there'll be nothing left. He'll have seen it, like, yeah, been there, seen it, did it. I know, yeah. and I kind of fear, I don't know, I, I'll, you know, as a parent, you support any of their dreams, but, you know, my husband and I are like, please don't end up in the music industry. Is that right? You don't want him to do we, that. I mean, we joke and we want him to be like an accountant, but. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I bet but... this kid's gonna have a lot of talent. I mean, he better have a lot of talent, really. There's a lot of pressure <laughs> with you and with you and dad, you know? I mean, really, he's, yeah. he's, he's probably, how old were you when you started uh, I was, singing? I was 10. 10 years old. And I started touring then as well, so. Because you played in your parents' beauty salon, right? Yeah, I started there. I've played every um, Opry, Chili Cook-Off, uh, tailgate that Texas could offer um, before I was 13. In so. the beauty salon, though, so what, the, like, there would be like ladies with the hair dryer going and you'd be there playing? No, no. no. Oh. I mean, they wish. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. Oh, it would be a special concert. 
Yeah, I would like, I would serenade them or we'd have like Christmas parties and I would sing for the clientele. I or, see. I, I mean, I was like kind of forced to, but um, <laughs> Is yeah. Is that right? Yeah. But I mean, it, it kind of all worked out the way it was supposed to. I'm sitting here, so. Yeah, right, sure. Started at the salon. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there aren't many, if you really think about it, there aren't many musicians, uh, certainly not at your level, who were performing uh, on, on the floor uh, covered with hair. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, we all have to have our start somewhere. But When did you start writing songs uh, professionally? Um, so when I moved to Nashville almost a decade ago, I didn't really want to be an artist. I wanted to write songs for other people. So, I mean, I was a staff songwriter. So I had like... What does that mean, a staff songwriter? So I would go in Monday through Friday to my publisher um, on Music Row in Nashville. There's two streets called Music Row. Tons of publishers, um, studios line the streets. You'd and report so, to a, like a, a job, a regular job. Yeah, and yeah. so I will look at my calendar for the week and they'll pair me with you know, just people I've never met before. So it's it's kind of like blind dating. Huh. You write a song and you like pour your heart out and then your publisher tries to pitch that song to a label who's looking for songs for their artist or whatever. But I mean, I was like mildly successful at that. I think I was always supposed to just be the one singing my own songs. But right. um, yeah, Kelly Clarkson and Tim McGraw recorded songs of mine. And that, must that was have been, kind of my first. You must have been so excited when they picked your songs to record. Oh my gosh, it was so validating. I felt like I, I w was taken seriously for sure after that. And then did you wish like you had that song back for yourself? <laughs> um, you know, I actually recorded the song that Kelly recorded uh -huh. um, on my first record. It was a few years after she had done it. And uh, she's so supportive of it and, uh -huh. and she's amazing. But um, yeah, I never want them back really. I, don't, I never feel like they've been stolen. I feel like, that was my credibility <laughs> card, was like Kelly Clarkson is singing words you wrote and you pulled out of your ass. So yeah. that's pretty cool. And also it helped really launch you to perhaps the pinnacle of any professional career, um, the cover <laughs> of Pickleball Magazine. Which is, yeah. uh, I don't know why I am just purely delighted by this. Vogue, you, eat your heart out. You love Pickleball. I mean, there you are. Yeah. Uh, thinking about Pickleball next to the bus. <laughs> Your son's uh, in the cage, you're pickleballing. <laughs> yeah, pickleball um, is life. Is it? <laughs> Does Ryan play pickleball also? Um, yeah, but we we kind of picked it up on the road, like okay. this tour, because uh, we would just set up courts outside the tour bus and play each other, and it was kind of like a team bonding thing and then everyone got really into it. And is it competitive now? now? Apparently there's a pickleball magazine. They're all gonna be freaking out that we're mentioning this on the show tonight. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm the cover girl. <laughs> you are, you sure are. And so you play you play against your like bandmates and against your husband and do you guys have like set teams and it's something you look forward to and are Oh yeah we'll, we'll, fierce we, about we play doubles, we have scorecards. Um, yeah there's a lot of trash talking. Um, we just do it after sound check and like before shows. And it was just kind of a good way because we hadn't toured in so many years. So there were a few new faces in the crew. And I felt like that first night we played after the show in the parking lot. They and, say um, there's no better way to get to know somebody than to play pickleball with them. That's, I think, the Pickleball Magazine motto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you now you're playing the Hollywood Bowl. Which is, uh, I mean, everybody here in LA knows it's like a huge deal to play the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. Uh, will you be pickleballing outside the Hollywood Bowl before? If there's yeah. room, yeah. Well, oh, there's room. There's yeah. plenty of room. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited about that? I am. I've never been to the bowl, so. Oh, you've never been even as an no. attendee. No, the last time I played LA, I did the Greek. Uh huh. Which it's is beautiful. It's another great theater. Yeah. But yeah, the the bowl. That's going to be some big shoes to fill. Uh, but I'm I'm really excited. We've got some like special guests coming out. Oh, you do? Out. I've oh, got that's some friends nice. joining, and um, yeah, it's going to be a fun night under the stars. Well, it sounds great. Congratulations yeah. on uh, all, all your success. This is the album. It's called Humble Quest. Maren Morris, everybody. We'll be right back with music from Maren Morris.